but part of it. So, yung savagery niya, may certain themes na very similar to Lord of the Rings. Lord of the Rings. Oh, Lord of the Rings. Maraming, may certain themes na similar. Pero ano ang 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 ano ang personal thesis ko dyan is in order for us to see the spark of hope mas maliwanag ang spark of hope sa mundong nadilip so uh, um, when I did that game it needed to I needed to provoke not scare I don't consider this a horror film people easily say ah it's a Si Joaquin Valdez, director yan ng horror film. Um, the horror kasi is, is omnipresent. It's present in the themes. It's present in the environment. So, uh, honestly, this film is probably only 50 to 60 percent of what I intended it to be. The real success of the film is in the process. Kami ni Mark, retrospective when we were watching it. Inaalala namin yung proseso namin eh. Pero, to answer the question, it's really about hope. But the only reason, reason the only real way that we're gonna recognize a spark of hope it's in the dark, dark world. So, um, I wanted to provoke. Uh, the real story is about Diego. So, if not, uh, the intention of the movie is not to scare, but why, I, I, there were attempts in. Yeah. 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 No, the, sca the scare factor is um, a result of the story. As a result, they were motivated by the elements that I put in the literature of the story, in the creation of the story. It wasn't, we didn't put the scenes in para manakot lang. Siyempre, genre pa rin siya. Umad siya sa mga aswang uh, na archetype na kinalakihan ko. Pero at the same time, uh, niligyan ko siya ng profundity. I attempted at least. Yun yung attempt ko to ground it into something a little more philosophical. So, kung tutos eh, actually si ang favorite na comment ko dito si yung binigay sa akin ni Peke after he watched the film. Sabi niya, it's an aswang film without saying it's an aswang film. Sabi niya, so according to him, uh, sabi niya, it's one of the most realized aswang films that he's seen uh, produced. So, pero the thematic of it is that it's a story of Diego. Between um, June and Diego. June is the, is the one that lost the hope. Diego is the one that, that plowed through the dark world and said, I'm still going to wait. Would that be the reason kung bakit hindi na, naging full Grow, the full-blown uh, aswang, a sort of aswang. Yeah. I don't know. Oh, oh, oh. Um, the aswangs that in the discussion, in, in terms of the execution of the film, binanak talaga namin na mas maging ambiguous or vague yung realization ng aswang. Because na, one of the underlying themes is lahat tayo halimaw. Yeah, that's the third. That's yeah. what I felt. Ambiguity. Medyo na confused ako kasi hindi ko na kung saan siya pupunta sa mga there are plus and minuses yan. Um, certain people found the confusion lovely. They, they called it punk, if, uh, if there's a term. But certain people didn't like it at all. So, magandang discussion siya. Uh, so, yeah. So, at least, I don't clear niya sa akin. Oh, oh, parang oh. kasi kung may mali o narin para intention. Yes. So, parang ano eh. Actually, may nagsabi na eh, para siyang parang uh, overdrawn na nightmare watching it na parang siyang panaginip na hindi na talaga ma-place sabi ni Mark ang pelikula para siyang Pearl Jam song yung lyrics nun parang hindi mo talaga ma maintindihan pero pag pinakagan mo natin ano pag niramdaman mo lang nag-make sense <laughs> so which part of last na which <laughs> part na lang nito yung, yung real intention mo na hindi nag-materialize on something? Ang dami. Maraming maraming. Uh, the, there was a device that I wanted to introduce which was the handy cam. I implicitly state, uh, set the scenario in the 90s. Eh. Um, but I wanted the handy cam as a, a major device. And uh, um, okay, I only really used it at the end. And I wanted, uh, ang bad, may mga eksena kasi na hindi ko na talaga na-shoot dahil sa budget production constraints. Uh, may mga video clips dapat ang per tribe member. Parang si Ugoy kasi yung philosopher ng grupo. Siya yung nagdo-document ng mga, mga 
activities nila. Kasi essentially, ang ginawa namin, gumawa kami ng sariling kultura. The, the, the tribe, uh, in, in efforts to rebel against the demons of society, which are yung politiko, yung lahat, everything, the, oh, anything structured, gumawa sila ng sarili nilang kultura, their own society. And Ukoy was, the, was documenting that. So I wanted that. It would be a great cinematic device sana, to kind of piece together all of these uh, uh, marami, among, amongst many things. So, yung mga eksena na kinailangan ko talagang tanggalin. Um, technically, yung mga certain prosthetic limits, I, uh, the torture scene of June was gonna be so, was much more elaborate na pa. That, um, that uh, ritual at the, at the bandang dulo, mas elaborate pa dapat rin. I mean, if, if I had double or triple the budget, if I had a month of shooting, if I could pay my actors more than Sky Flakes and Cat Food. Me. Yeah. Uh, the, I know. Uh, more than anyone, ako yung number one na critic ng sarili mong work. And there are so many things that I wanted to do here. Pero at the end of the day, kung sa si Mark habang yung pinapalit namin nila, parang yun na yun eh. Kung baga, hindi ko na pwede yung balikan. At not regretting anything, it's, that's what it is now. And that's the beauty of film. Um, you can't explain to people your intention. But they have to just, ano, and I think I'm actually very, very proud of this work and for what it eventually became. Uh, at 900,000 pesos budget, um, yeah, 900,000 pesos budget um, with actors that were willing and so committed to the process. Um, if the, the process of this could be a film in itself, yung pinagdaanan ng mga actors, yung kung nag-workshop kami intensively, uh, even behind the scenes, they all lived together, hiniwalay namin si Jun at si Diego, hiniwalay namin yung tribo, and uh, they created their own jargon, their own lingo, their own language. Each of the aswams, there are 13 of them. Yes, there is an allusion to the apostles. But uh, there are 13 of them with Pido, their leader. They are all based on uh, a specific regional aswam in the Philippines. Of course, Pido being the leader and the cigarette is the captain. In the history of the aswam, I'm, I'm a big aswam fan. So, in the history of Aswams, um, in the, cult, the mythology of the Aswams, uh, the Kapra is the most intelligent and the most cunning. Um, so, yeah, grab your process. All of them represented one, and it was nice to get a myth and then bring it back. Because it's not something we not say in our philosopher that we create gods to for certain aspects of our humanity, right? So, for our lust, for our anger, for our love, for our for our fear, we create these mytho mythologies. So, ginawa namin balitag. We took these mythologies and we humanized them. So, ang ganda ng proseso ng mga actors at least. By the way, for the information of uh, some people here who are not aware of, ito kasi yung movie niya, entry niya sa scene na one, two years ago. Kaya may na-dimension siya ang budget. Don't spray the process na pinagdaan. Kasi he, uh, he entered this in the competition. So, may mga rules and guidelines siya nila. So, he's not that free to move. Parang original intention niya, materialize. So, Heart of Darkness, would you clear the end of work? Yung parang character in Heart of Darkness. Dito sa akin, movie mo, ano yung mga yung end of movie ng character in Heart of Darkness? What end would you like? Kasi better na tatang, ano mangyayari sa kanya? What's going to happen to him? Is he going to succeed? Is he going to succeed? So, uh, sana po nakita 